Wow. That is beautiful. Okay, back to the car. Late last year, I bought a Fuji X100F, and a few months later, I had the chance to spend a week out on Route 66 with their new X100V. I want to love you, baby, for giving your heart to me. I want to love you, baby. I quickly fell in love with the way Fuji's cameras inspired creativity and how much fun they were to use. They were more than just technical tools, and for me, it was a breath of fresh air and something I'd been missing for a long time in the digital world. So ever since that initial trip, which was kind of my entry into this Fujifilm digital camera world, I've been really, really intrigued in eyeballing their medium format cameras just because they have a few really appealing options for great prices, especially the GFX 50R. And recently I was able to get my hands on this camera for a few weeks. Uh, obviously it takes longer than that to truly appreciate a camera, but I wanted to put together this video kind of a, uh, as an initial impressions video, just sharing some of the images I made, a few of the trips I went on and talking about what I loved about this camera. So just got up to this area late last night. I used to come up here at least, I would say, once a year before and just explore and create images and just really kind of enjoy this place. Uh, and it's been a while now since I've been up here and I've been wanting to get back. Recently, Fuji sent me one of their mirrorless medium format cams, the GFX 50R, and I've been meaning to just kind of get out and spend some time with it on a trip. And I figured just kind of take off last minute and, and come up to this area and, and see what I find. And you know, no expectations, just really kind of visit some spots that I haven't been in a long time and, uh, and enjoy this place. Okay, so just came across these signs on this old building, this old pub in this small town. Definitely gonna photograph them. So we'll jump into some specs quickly, but I do just wanna say uh, that for me, this camera is kind of like a larger, better X100. And I mean, obviously there's a ton of differences between the two cameras, uh, but just in terms of the way it handles, uh, the look I'm able to get out of the images, and then just how fun it is to use. And this camera and the X100 are the only two Fujis that I've spent a considerable amount of time with, say more than like a day, uh, but I kind of get the feeling that this is a common theme between a lot of the Fujifilm models. Some of the standard features on this camera are the 51.4 megapixel CMOS sensor, the rangefinder inspired design with an OLED EVF placed on the left side of the camera. Fuji's excellent built-in film simulations, including Pro Negative and Eterna. And a variety of traditional medium and large format aspect ratios, which turned out to be one of my favorite things about the camera. So when it comes to the sensor size of this camera, it's actually a little bit smaller than a traditional 645 medium format film negative. And that's pretty common in this world, uh, unless you're spending way more money than this on a traditional kind of system camera. But other offerings from Fuji, as well as uh, Pentax medium format digital uh, and some Hasselblad models, they're all gonna use this sensor size, which I believe is around 44 mil by 33 mil. Uh, so if you compare it to full frame digital, which is 36 by 24 mil, it's still quite a bit of a jump up uh, and it is gonna affect the way that these cameras render tones and depth in an image. Can I take your guys' picture? You can sit, sit on there. We'll do something like this. Just bear with me. You just out for, uh, out for a ride? Yeah. 
So obviously this camera is super capable, but I gotta say, I'm of the belief, especially nowadays, that almost any camera out there uh, is going to be good enough and isn't really gonna hold you back as an artist. For me, it almost now comes down to what camera suits my style of working the best and which camera is gonna get me just excited to go out and make images and just inspire me to create. And what I love about this GFX 50R is Fuji has implemented certain features that do just that. And really there's kind of two or three main things. So obviously the sensor size is amazing. I love that this is getting closer to traditional medium format size in digital. The second thing is the built-in film simulations. Uh, just like with the X100, I love what Fuji's done with these. And for me, they provide an amazing starting point for editing where I don't really have to do a ton of work to get the images looking how I like them. And then the third thing, and one of the biggest ones with this camera is just the built-in aspect ratios that this camera has, which I found to be really, really useful and a lot of fun to use. So, just drove about an hour and a half up to this kind of town. Had a couple spots in mind. One was this old um, abandoned ski resort, which looks like someone bought and uh, turned the chalet into their home. And then the other was uh, this old motel that used to be here, uh, which is gone now. So, yeah. So this could actually be kind of cool. There's half of the old motel sign right there and the other half there. So it might be kind of neat to shoot both and do something with the two of them as a pair. When it comes to the images, even though I didn't have a lot of time to create work with this camera, the files coming out of it were pretty much exactly what I expected. This medium format sensor just has amazing dynamic range, tons of detail, and just renders tones in a really nice way. So to wrap things up, I'll say that I really really like this camera and I feel like for me be the perfect match to work alongside my Pentax 672 just with the switchable aspect ratios and I'll kind of echo my thoughts from the X100V review I did and just say that I love what Fujifilm is doing as a company and for me using this camera made that love even stronger. Okay this is pretty awesome not a bad way to end the day. They're a company that's not only creating incredibly capable products, but they're doing it in a way where you can tell that they haven't forgotten that a camera shouldn't be just technically sound, but it should also have a soul and a style that encourages you and excites you to create. In time, we'll